Hello, my people. How you doing? It's uh, P Shakes here. Uh, I'm just coming on to show you guys my hair and my outfit for Comic Con. I'm getting ready to go in a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna get my face done. I'm gonna get um, a cat theme done on my face, but I have to meet my friend in Jersey City to get that done. So, check out the outfit. So I'm wearing all black. Um, yeah, just all black. And I think she got me jeans. Oops, sorry. Okay, my stupid camera just shut off. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But anyway, um, I'm going to take another shot of when my makeup is done so you can see it. But see y'all later. I'll give y'all updates. Later. Bye. Hey guys, it's um, P Shakes here. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I came back from Comic Con. <sighs> Sorry for the little energy. I've been on my feet since 7 o'clock this morning. Because I told you I had to go over to Jersey City to meet my friend and see my face. We both had the same look. Uh, she had the same yeah, variety of cat face. And yeah, with her little hair, with her little ears, and I had a little tail. I lost it now. I think it's in my car somewhere. But anyway, you know, I'm looking cute in my all black. I'm like, meow, look. We got so many compliments. And I remember we were stopped for pictures of me, like, pose, like, meow. <laughs> so cute. I had so much fun. I've never been to Comic Con. It was my first time going, and definitely I'm going back next year. It was just wonderful. Um, the people are great, and um, I definitely, I am definitely planning to go back again um, next year. And I'm gonna go. I went just went for one day. Next time I'm gonna go for maybe two days because it's just so much stuff that you can't possibly see it in one day. I mean, I've gotten there. And I was so overwhelmed. I was like, oh, what do I see? I think I, we walked around like for two hours lost, just walking around aimlessly and trying to take pictures of everything and seeing everything. And it was just so much. And then we finally got out of there and went into the, the ING theater and we saw some stuff. And, you know, it, it was the, 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 <laughs> that was the only thing I had a problem with. The theater could only fit like four or 5,000 people. And there's like 80 or 90 people at the conference. I was like, how the hell? Like, the theater is not going to fit everyone. It's crazy. Like, if you got into the theater, you were lucky. You had to stay there for all the panels. Like, you got in there from like 4 o'clock. Or I got in there like 3.45. And I, I literally, I did not leave until after 8. Because you couldn't. If you left, you couldn't come back in. Because it was like no space. But um, other than that, it was good. The costumes that people... Some people put so much effort in their costume. It was incredible. Like, the only effort I put in my costume was a face paint and just black. But still, we had so many people asking us to take, their, take, the, to take our pictures. I'm like, dude, I just have face mask on and black. What is so great about my costume? I spent no money and very little effort into it. But anyway, um, I, just, I guess because it's creativity... The creativity aspects of it, what, what makes people want to take pictures, but um, I was just posing all day. At <laughs> one point, I was like, ah, oh, just screw it, just take the picture. <laughs> I'm so tired of posing. But um, that was great. And what else happened? Um, oh, what else? What else? What else? Um, oh, I saw some costumes that were just, I, I don't know what the person was thinking. I was like, what the hell? There's this one guy dressed as a Dalek. A Dalek is the, the, the enemy of the, the um, Time Lord in Doctor Who. And the dude literally had a cardboard box. It wasn't even like a nice shape. It was like a box that was like all twisted to the side. It looked like he got a box that was used multiple times. It was dirty. He had a plunger sticking out somewhere. And he had it was all weird angle. I mean, if you didn't know Doctor Who, you weren't a hardcore Doctor Who fan, you wouldn't know what the hell he was dressed as. He had like the thing coming out of his... It was so bad. It's like, <laughs> my friend told me about the guy in the cardboard box. And I was like, oh, okay. I looked, I was like, oh my God, is he what I think he's supposed to be? Oh, a Dalek, a real Dalek would have killed him and terminated, terminated him on the spot just for insulting them. And the other person I saw was a guy dressed as Wonder Woman. I have pictures. I have pictures of that one. I don't have pictures of the one as a Dalek. But I have one with the Wonder Woman. Oh. priceless um but other than that i had so much fun this is my uh tag for saturday it's proof that i didn't go 
And I got this other thing about Bigfoot. It's a 3D um, Bigfoot thing, shaped in the size of a foot for Animal Planet. Um, it's for their Bigfoot, Finding Bigfoot, Sunday, October 30th at 9 p.m. on Animal Planet. It's got like 3D. Um, oh, let me show you what else I have. I have um, a few other things that I got. I got, um, let me see, I'm trying to keep this video under six minutes. That's my goal. I got this other poster. I don't know what it's, what it's about. Move that to the side. Some poster. Look like crying angel or crying. It was just creepy. Looks like the sun god on this side, and it has like someone crying, and it says he is returning, <laughs> coming soon. I'm not sure what is that about. I don't know. It doesn't say anything else. It just says coming soon, and it says um British lion. I don't know. Then I have this other poster. Let's see. This other poster. To one of the um, the panels that I went to. I went to the Walking Dead um, panels in the I I IGN theater, which was awesome. Um, he wasn't there, but the other cast members were there. Um, I swear they should have brought the, zam the zombies because they were pretty awesome. <laughs> They weren't dressed up, and I got this at another place. It's a uh, Camelot, the complete bag. Isn't that the coolest bag ever? Yeah, they're giving these out for free. And then I got this other guy gave me his artwork. It's like a little um, comic called Helvis. It's pretty awesome. By the underworld, I read it. It's pretty awesome. And I have this guy. I don't know. I didn't get to see this because I missed it. Because like I said, it's so much to do, so much to see, you can't possibly, like, dude, this was the program. It's, like, over, like, 60 or 70 pages long. This is the program for Comic-Con, like, damn. <laughs> like, seriously, it's like a freaking magazine, and this is their program for all three days or four days. It depends on when you went. Yeah, what else I got? I got some other core cards and stuff, and cool stuff, postcards, um, uh, I like this, this is, um, how to, if you want to order Komodos, yeah, I might do that, and, uh, another thing, how does it say, um, hanging at New York Comic Con, I thought it was cute, little badge, and, <laughs> I won this in a connect dance-off with this girl, I kicked her ass, man, I got like 300 points, and she got like 2-something, so, <laughs> And they connect dance off, and I bought this bag for like eight dollars. So that was cool. A picture of Wonder Woman saving the planet Earth. Yay! But well, other than that, um, that's it. Anyway, toodles. Bye. Peace. Bye, people.